Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. This is Virgo's weekly love read for January 17th through the 23rd. Virgos, this is going to be you, them, and the connection. Um, we are also going to get healing, sorry, the sacred healing journey cards from Angelic Revelation 144, the Hermit Tarot Oracle card, White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages, and Heart Songs, um, Songs in the Keys of Love by Celestial Forecast by Carrie. <clears throat> Excuse me. Please keep in mind that these are general reads, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like something is not resonating with you, um, feel free to check your moon or your rising signs. If you're unsure of what your moon or your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that will take you to a website to get you that information. Um, there is also a link in the description box below that will get you uh, to my personal webpage and you can check out um, if you're interested in getting a read. Oh, Virgo. Virgo. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles energy. The Nine of Pentacles is a great energy, but it tends to be a singular energy. This is someone who is working on their finances, someone who is getting financially stable, someone is kind of pulling their life together. Uh, but again, singular energy. Underneath that, I was hoping for some good news, but it's the Ten of Wands, which is putting down a burden. And the Magician, which is good, manifesting a soulmate, or manifesting a connection, potential soulmate. Um, but right now, I feel like, Virgo, you might be really kind of in a, um, a singular energy, focusing on yourself, focusing on getting your finances, and focus on getting your life in order. All right, guys, so you, them, and the connection. We'll start with you, Virgo. So we have the Eight of Cups. So we have the Eight of Cups is um, walking away from something or walking towards something even better. So um, this is like leaving something behind. So you're showing up as potentially you are leaving something behind. You're leaving behind this great bowl of goodness, right? It's a good bowl. But you're walking towards the sun, which is, um, in the tarot deck, the sun is the most positive card in the deck. So I feel like, um, oh, I never noticed this before. There's like a half sunken bowl over here. It's like she put them in the water and, and her footprints are walking away from the water. So leaving something behind. Um, I feel like you are a, a team player. I feel like you've been putting in a lot of team work. You're willing to build um, and kind of grow things with someone. Um, and you have a lot of love to offer. So I'm going to clarify what you're walking away from. Because, you know, you're showing up as this really solid teammate, someone that has a lot of love to offer. But what is it that you're walking away from? You're leaving something behind. Could be like... Um, it could be a person, it could be a thought process, it could be a job, but this is a love reading, so I feel like it's, let's just clarify. What is this Eight of Cups? What is Virgo leaving behind? What is this Eight of Cups? The King of Pentacles. You're leaving behind stability, an abundance, um, a loyal, committed relationship. get another card <laughs> let me just clarify this a little bit more a king and queen of pentacles well I'll be darned it looks like you're walking away from a relationship the king and queen of pentacles is there to clarify what are you leaving behind so these didn't come up in reverse but the reverse meetings are like jealousy, self-centered, on unfaithful, risky situations. So maybe you're, maybe you're leaving behind a s being or feeling jealous, being self-centered, being greedy, or a person that is being that way. We're just gonna move forward because I don't want to spend too much time. I, I don't. I, you take what resonates with you, Virgo. Your person is showing up as the tower. The tower represents an unexpected occurrence, like something that just 
makes everything uh, turned upside down and upheaval. Um, it's usually a surprise. You're not usually ready for it. It's kind of depicted through lightning, right? It's like something just comes out and destroys everything around it. Um, it's not always a bad thing. Sometimes, like, you know, when the the damage happens, it reveals something. Um, or, you know, it's just something that's really unexpected. Um, but your person looks like they're kind of trying to juggle something. They can't keep their, their self balanced right at this moment. Um, and then the chariot is here, so it's like forward movement. Again, potentially with a choice. So we have the two of pentacles, or the two of pentacles that is like choices, the two horses that are choices. So perhaps your person's going to make an unexpected choice. <sighs> I'm going to clarify this tower. What does this tower mean? The Knight of Pentacles. The Emperor. So I feel like your person is going to kind of make an unexpected choice. I'm not liking your read, Virgo. Um, I feel like your person is going to make an unexpected choice. Um, it could be potentially between two people, like the emperor is like a, a father type figure or a boss or a counterpart. Um, and the knight of pentacles is a, it could be like a younger earth sign potentially. Um, but I feel like your person is going to unexpectedly do something. It's also the pentacles and the emperor are both very like... Um, like structured and committed things. So perhaps they're going to kind of just. I feel like I need to throw this reading away because it's taking forever and I'm not getting it. But I feel like. Um... I think there's going to be an unexpected choice in terms of a, 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 a relationship. Again, I feel like that's clarified in yours and in theirs. And then the connection. We have the Fool card, the Three of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. Poof. Um, so the Three of Swords is heartbreak, loss, and sadness. So this is a connection. However, however, we have a new stable start with the Fool. Not stable. New start. Um, pos, uh, optimism. Taking a leap forward with the Seven of Pentacles, which is, um, you know, a situation that uh, that's been taking some work to get to. So, like, seeds have been planted and you've been, like, watching something kind of grow. So, I feel like, um, you know, there could be another way to interpret some of this. And, you know, these knights, emperors, queen and queens don't always have to be people. It could be different energies. But I feel like... Um, there's going to be some sadness into the situation, but there will be an optimistic leap forward. Someone's going to be a fool and take a leap of faith um, with something or about something or something that is um, worth taking the time to watch grow. So let me clarify this again. Just give me... Actually, let me do this. Let me get a few more cards on the connection. And then if I need... If this doesn't help me... Then I will clarify. Uh, okay. Um, there's definitely going to be a new start. Um, <laughs> which I already thought with the fool um, jumping forward optimistically into something. So I definitely think whatever's going on with you, Virgo, there's a lot of sadness, right? Feeling like you've been left out in the cold. I think this sadness, this heartbreak, um, and it doesn't have to be less, this sadness and heartbreak, right? Um, it's going to push you to self-reflect, to, um, this is the, the uh, judgment card. So this is really about reflecting about your situation. What can you do in it? What can you do to make it better? What have you done? What works? What doesn't work? And there'll be a new start. It doesn't necessarily mean it's with a different person if you're already in a relationship, uh, but it could be. It could be. Uh, I've already spent a lot of time. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, 
yeah if this resonates with you and you need a personal read then let me know all right uh the sacred healing journey from angelic revelation 144 i feel like there's just a lot of turmoil in this connection right now choices are going to be made that are unexpected There'll be some heartbreak and sadness and feeling like you're left out in the cold. But there's new starts everywhere. Like you have the Ace of Cups. There's the Ace of Pentacles. There's the Fool. Precious. Valuing time together. Party animal. Parting to the extreme. Loyalty. Protective. Devoted. Best friend. And intimacy on the bottom. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think those are all good cards except for the party into the extreme card, right? So maybe there's just like extreme, there's extreme behaviors here um, from one extreme to the other, but it's a loyal and precious relationship. I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to redo this one, but um, I'm just going to leave it because this is what's coming out. So I think it's meant for someone to hear. All right. So the Hermit card. Um, Hermit Oracle card, Hermit Tarot Oracle card, I'm addicted to you. Definitely. I imagine you naked. Seek professional advice. <laughs> okay, Virgo. Um, yeah, and you know, all this passion, I don't see it in your cards at the moment. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know. This one's throwing me off, guys. Seek, seek professional advice, okay? How about that? <laughs> okay, we're going to need a couple of White Rose Divine Guidance. Or, I'm sorry, White Rose Guidance Divine Love Messages, Volume 2. I want to be there for you, there to take care of you. So that could be you to your person or your person to you. You are my rose. Facing my reflection is more than I can handle. So this could be from your person to you or you to your person. So I'm going to like review these again before I end this read. We're also going to get, to, um, we're going to end the read with a heart songs card from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. Um, these are song lyrics. So the song itself might just resonate with you. Like you might be like, oh, that's one of my favorite songs. This might be a song that reminds you of your person. Or um, it could just be that you need to listen to the lyrics. So the song is... Before You Go by Louis Capaldi. When you hurt under the surface like troubled water running cold, well, time can heal, but this won't. So, before you go, was there something I could have said to make your heart beat better? If only I had known you had a storm to weather. This is a tough read, guys. So, before you go, was there something I could have said to make it all stop hurting? I never get emotional in reads. Um, this is a tough one. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you need a personal read, hit me up. Uh, take care, guys. Bye-bye.